Did you know David Ruffin was fired from The Temptations? He even got engaged to famous singer Tammy Terrell while he was still married and had another girlfriend at the time. David Ruffin was mostly known for his work as one of the lead singers of The Temptations from 1964 to 68. He was known for his unique raspy and anguished tenor vocals. Ruffin was the lead voice on the famous songs My Girl and Ain't Too Proud to Beg that defined The Temptations' success in 60s. However, his personal life was not as successful as his career. Was David Ruffin set up? So, if you're a David Ruffin fan or simply curious about this legend, hit the like button and let's dive in. Where was David Ruffin born? Ruffin was born in the rural area of Winnet, Mississippi, located about 15 miles from Meridian. His birth name was Davis Eli Ruffin. He was the third son of Elias Eli Ruffin, a Baptist minister, and Ophelia Ruffin. Eli's parents had relocated from Alabama to Mississippi due to the challenging circumstances following the American Civil War. Ruffin's father was known for his strictness and sometimes harshly abusive behavior. Unfortunately, Ruffin's mother passed away 10 months after his birth in 1941, and his father later remarried Erlene, a schoolteacher, in 1942. How did he get his start in music? During his early years, Ruffin, along with his siblings Quincy, Jimmy, and Rita May, was part of a family gospel group that traveled with his father and stepmother, performing alongside renowned artists like Mahalia Jackson and the Five Blind Boys of Mississippi. Ruffin's musical journey started at Mount Salem Methodist Church, where he sang in the choir and participated in talent shows. In 1955, at the age of 14, he left home with the guidance of a minister and ventured to Memphis, Tennessee, initially with the intent of pursuing a ministry path. At 15, Ruffin joined jazz musician Phineas Newborn, Sr., in Hot Springs, Arkansas, performing at venues like the 50 Grand Ballroom and Casino. He continued his musical endeavors, singing in various talent shows and joining groups like the Dixie Nightingales and the Soul Stirrers. As his idols Sam Cooke and Jackie Wilson transitioned from gospel to secular music, Ruffin followed suit. At 16, he found himself under the care of Eddie and Dorothy Helen Bush, who brought him to Detroit, Michigan, where his brother Jimmy was also involved in music and working at Ford Motor Company. How Ruffin Joined Motown In 1957, Ruffin crossed paths with Barry Gordy Jr., who was then a songwriter aspiring to establish his own record label. Ruffin ended up residing with Gordy's father, who was a contractor, and contributed to construction work on the building that eventually became Hitsville, USA, the headquarters for Gordy's Tamla Records, later Motown Records, label. Ruffin's time at Tamla Records also connected him with Marvin Gaye, another aspiring singer, as both worked as apprentices at Anna Records. In January 1964, Ruffin's journey took a significant turn when he joined The Temptations, filling the vacancy left by Elbridge Bryant's departure from the group. Ruffin officially joined The Temptations on January 9, 1964, after a session of recording. While both David Ruffin and his brother Jimmy were considered for the position, David's performance skills ultimately secured his place, especially evident when he joined The Temptations on stage during the label's New Year's Eve celebration in 1963. Why was he fired from The Temptations? David Ruffin assumed the role of one of the lead singers for The Temptations, but his tenure lasted for a span of four years from 1964 to 1968. Throughout these four years, Ruffin's distinctive lead vocals played a pivotal role in driving timeless classics like My Girl, Ain't Too Proud to Beg, and I Wish It Would Rain. However, towards the end of 1968, Ruffin's association with the group came to an end. Founder of The Temptations, Otis Williams, made the decision to dismiss Ruffin due to his repeated absence from concerts and rehearsals, which was attributed to his struggle with cocaine addiction. Additionally, Ruffin had suggested renaming the group to David Ruffin and The Temptations, further contributing to the decision to part ways. What happened to Ruffin when he was fired from The Temptations? Upon departing from The Temptations to embark on a solo journey, there were high hopes that David Ruffin would rise to become a major star in the music industry. However, the anticipated success didn't quite materialize as expected. While Ruffin did experience some notable achievements during his solo career, such as the hit songs, My Whole World Ended, in 1969 and Walk Away From A Love, in 1975, his path was marked by a mixture of triumphs and setbacks. 
Despite the highs, Ruffin's solo career also saw disappointments in the form of unmet expectations and albums that failed to generate substantial sales. Did he propose to the famous singer Tammy Terrell? Ruffin's introduction to Tammy Terrell occurred when she became a part of the Motown Review. As the tour unfolded, Terrell became an opening act for The Temptations, setting the stage for their tumultuous romance. In 1966, Ruffin surprised Terrell with a proposal of marriage. However, her world crumbled upon discovering that Ruffin was already married, had three children, and maintained another romantic relationship in Detroit. Ruffin's pattern of infidelity, combined with his drug usage, fueled numerous public disputes between them. The relationship ultimately came to an end in 1967 after Ruffin struck Terrell on the head with his motorcycle helmet. Did he sue Motown? Despite the perception of corporate neglect associated with David Ruffin's name, many might not realize that his solo career faced an uphill battle from the beginning. In 1968, he took legal action against Motown, seeking to break free from what he described as economic peonage and expressing his desire to leave the label. This move didn't earn him favor with Motown, which was not known for its generosity or leniency, thus impacting Ruffin's standing within the label. In 1970, he once again went to court, seeking release from his contract, while also attempting to form a group called The Fellas with his brother Jimmy, ex-Temptation Eddie Kendricks, Paul Williams, and then Temp's lead singer Dennis Edwards. This endeavor, if successful, could have disrupted The Temptations and other solo careers, straining Motown's patience with Ruffin even further. These circumstances, coupled with Ruffin's tumultuous six years as a Temptation, exacerbated his challenges. Despite these circumstances, Motown chose to retain Ruffin on the label as a solo artist, but with subpar single choices and minimal promotion. Consequently, by 1973, Ruffin's standing as a premier artist had diminished. In 1978, he signed with Warner Brothers, three years after his last major hit. Who did Ruffin marry to? Ruffin experienced two marriages in his lifetime. His first union was with Sandra Barnes in 1961, and through this marriage, he became the father of three daughters, Cheryl, Nedra, and Kimberly. Additionally, he fathered a son with his longtime girlfriend, Jenna Sapia, whom he encountered in 1964. Their widely known connection led to the naming of the child as David E. Sapia. Eventually, Ruffin opted to change his son's name to David Eli Ruffin, Jr. While they lived together for an extended period, they never formalized their relationship through marriage. Following Ruffin's passing, Sapia chose to adopt Ruffin as part of her last name, as a tribute to their relationship and for the sake of continuity for their son, David Jr. In 1976, a couple of years after his definitive separation from Jenna, Ruffin entered into a marriage with Joy Hamilton. Nevertheless, this marriage eventually ended in separation. As of his passing in 1991, Ruffin was involved with Diane Showers, with whom he had been residing since 1989. Who are his children? Nedra Ruffin. Nedra Ruffin, one of the daughters of the renowned Motown legend, was born to him and his wife. Unfortunately, David Ruffin passed away at the age of 58 on May 19, 2021, at Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak, due to complications stemming from COVID-19. A resident of Detroit, Nedra attended Mumford High School in the city. Throughout her life, she engaged in various endeavors, including modeling and working as a bartender. She contributed to direct care for hospice patients and also shared her expertise by teaching ballroom dancing and hustle classes. Notably, Nedra played a pivotal role in the process of renaming Parkside Street in Detroit to David Ruffin Avenue in June 2019. Additionally, she actively participated in supporting Narcotics Anonymous and took pride in her 28-year-long journey of maintaining sobriety from drugs. The diverse and meaningful roles she undertook showcase her impact in multiple areas of life. David Ruffin, Jr. follows in the footsteps of his famous father. Born to David Ruffin, Sr., a legendary lead singer of The Temptations, he carries on the family's musical heritage. Recognized as D. Ruff, he has honored his father's legacy by performing his music on various platforms, including an appearance on the Fox TV show, I Can See Your Voice, in 2022. D. Ruff not only preserves his father's musical impact but also forges his own path as a singer, songwriter, and actor, showcasing his unique talents and contributions to the world of entertainment. Cheryl and Kimberly 
the work in the entertainment industry and the have continued to preserve the legacy of their father. How did he die? David Ruffin faced a persistent battle with drug addiction throughout his career. In 1967, recognizing the severity of his addiction, he took steps to seek assistance. However, despite his efforts, he continued to grapple with drug-related issues. His struggles with substance abuse led to multiple arrests for drug possession and use during various points in his life. On June 1, 1991, Ruffin was driven to the emergency room entrance of the University of Pennsylvania Hospital by a friend after he had collapsed in a crack house in West Philadelphia. About an hour later, Ruffin's death was confirmed. Subsequent investigations revealed that Ruffin's cause of death was an adverse reaction to cocaine, leading to the determination that his passing was an accidental occurrence. After his death, the crack house in question was searched and sealed as part of the investigation. Was David Ruffin Death Mystery? In June of 1991, David Ruffin had recently concluded a month-long tour alongside Eddie Kendricks and Dennis Edwards. Each of them received a payment of $50,000. While their payments were originally intended to be partially in cash and the rest in a bank draft, David insisted on receiving the entire amount in cash and chose to carry it all in his briefcase. Dennis Edwards recalled speaking to David earlier in the day, during which David mentioned having the money in his briefcase. Adding to the intrigue, David's daughter, Nedra Ruffin, expressed a belief that someone may have orchestrated a plan to take advantage of him for the money. She remarked, somebody set him up for that money. However, despite the circumstances, when David arrived at the hospital, he had only $53 with him. The details surrounding this incident raise questions about what truly transpired in relation to the money and David Ruffin's tragic passing. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. See you on the next video.